In this video, we're going to discuss the focus tab and how to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the content marketing board that I have already created here. And in this example, we're going to talk about the different piece of content we have to create. Um, and these are sitting in the ideas column here. And if I open up the blog post, we'll see that I have some automations already set up and some things um, happening on these content types. I have these custom fields adding when it's moved or created in the ideas list. The problem is though, when people open up this task, they see kind of subtasks by default. In this case, there are none. They'd have to know to go to the custom fields tab and enter this information in. So what I can do is use the focus tab to solve this problem. If I go to the list and then select the menu, select manage focus tab, I then have some options to name the focus tab. So in this case, I'm going to call it ideas to relate to the list itself. I can add a description, complete the fields below. And then I can set it up to actually set these custom fields for this tab. So they see it when they right when they open the task. So I'm going to go ahead and add content type. Request your name. Um, publish date and priority. So now it's showing here the active display will show content type, request your name, publish date and priority. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And now when I open this blog post, it's going to show me the focus tab labeled ideas, a description, complete the fields below and the custom fields that I want everyone to focus on in this step. So now I can complete these fields right by opening tasks. So now I can complete these fields in the focus tab instead of having to jump to the custom fields tab. All right. So if I go ahead and put this information in, it's a blog post. The request your name is Brian Faust. The published date is going to be August 31st. And priority medium. All right. So now when I move this along, I have some other automation set up to go ahead and create subtests. Now I set up a focus tab already for this step. So you can see now the tab changes to create and all of the subtasks that I have creating with the automations are set to show in this tab. So you can have a focus tab for every list in the, in the workflow if you want to um, showing specific things. And you can have custom fields and subtests live together in this list as well. Let me show you that. So if I go into here and manage the focus tab for the create, I can add a custom field called, let's say level of effort. And I want to put that at the top. So I can actually drag and drop this and just move it to the top here. And now when I open the blog post, I'm going to have level of effort sitting at the very top of the create focus tab. So now I can have select a level of effort and then go ahead and continue to work on my tasks. One important thing to note here is that for the tasks and the custom fields to show in the focus tab, they have to be on the task, whether that's being added by an automation or manually added. 